In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a line chart on Google Sheets with the information that we've already entered into our spreadsheets. And this line graph, as you can see right here, is going to represent the total revenue per month for my company. So, in other words, this is the total amount of money coming in to my company per month. So if I go back to my spreadsheet, you can see that I already have completed this and this is what it will look like in a separate tab. You should have already completed that chart right there. So I'm going to delete this so we can create it again. You should be on the budget tab and I'm going to highlight total revenue including the label here all the way through December. Don't include the total. That's just going to mix up your chart a little bit because this column is not equal to all of these others. All the months are basically the same thing. Not the same amount necessarily, but they're measuring the same amount of time. But this is equal to all of these combined. So it'll mix up the chart if we include that number in there just a little bit. So once I have this data highlighted, I'm going to click on the, sh the chart shortcut right there. And this is not the kind of chart I'd like. And I can already tell that it's not exactly how I want it to be. And that's just because it has rows and columns reversed. So that looks a little closer to the way I want it, except I want a line chart. So if I choose line chart and I make sure that I have checked switch rows and columns, it should look something like this. And I do know that's correct because this was the total revenue amount, $72,600, until I get to November and then it jumps up. Because these were all 8% of my total business months and these two were 10%. If you think back to the previous few days. But this chart is missing the month labels down here. So let me show you how to get those. It's similar to the pie chart, how we got our labels for our legend there. If I move this just a little bit, you'll see that our months are in row four. So we want to tell the chart editor that we want to include the information we entered in to row four. So here's how I'll do that. I'll tell it to include A4 through, colon means through, M4. And I'll separate those with a comma so it doesn't get confused. And I'll press enter. Except it doesn't like that. And that is probably because we need to match up our data vertically. They're parallel vertically rather than horizontally. And if that's confusing to you, no problem. Just make sure combine ranges vertically rather than horizontally. And you will see now we get the months to appear right down there in a sort of staggered fashion. Now I also want this to be labeled. And I can do that simply by checking this to use column A as my headers. And I'll see that that includes the total revenue because that is a header a label that I entered in over here and down here this is left blank because we also left this blank right here. So we're well on our way to creating a decent chart. We're pretty much done with this tab because we've already selected line graph but now we can take care of the rest of our chart on this customize tab. First, I'm going to take care of my title, and I'm going to increase the font size of the title to 20. I just prefer to have it slightly larger, and I am going to call this total revenue per month, because that's what my chart is measuring. I'll press enter, and so my title goes up here. 
I'm fine with the legend the way it is and where it is. I don't feel like my font size needs to be any larger there. If I wanted to play around with that, I could bold it. I could make it italics. And actually, I like the way that looks, so I'm going to leave it. My font, I'm going to be consistent with my first chart, and I'm going to make it in Courier. And my background, I'm just going to choose a gray background as I did for my first chart as well. And I'm going to leave it as a, um, a line like this. I don't know the name for it exactly because I don't think this is accurate, nor do I think it looks very nice. You can play around with these other options as well. Actually, I think only reverse and maximize will do anything to this particular chart at this time. These down here give you the ability to label your axes. So if I wanted to label my horizontal axes, I could label it as month of the year. But I don't really need to do that. People can already tell that these are months of the year. So to label it as month of the year, in my opinion, would be a little bit redundant. So I am going to undo what I just did over here. And I'm going to delete that. Then I am also going to skip over some of these. You can play around with the color if you want for this. I think that blue that I had is just fine. You can make the line thicker if you want, but I am going to add points to my chart. I'm just going to make them size 2 so that you can see where the months on the line start or where they're plotted basically. So I'm going to add that to my chart and with that I'm finished. That's all I need to include for my chart. So I am just going to choose insert and then what I've done before and what I'm going to do this time is move this to its own sheet it's called chart 7 now I'm going to rename it to total revenue per month actually I'll just call it total revenue chart I'll press enter and then I'm going to move that over here. And that's all you'll need to do. Let me know if you have any questions as you complete those steps.